do, do. Oh, John, mm -hmm. your red light's on. We're, we're recording. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, just give give me just a minute here. I, I'm tinkering. Tinkling? That's you should do that in the bathroom. Uh, Presley, you you tinkle in the bathroom, not tinker. Good boy. I'm glad you know that. Now, can you go do that business in the bathroom and be sure to wash your hands? You know what? Just just, just never mind. Never mind. Uh, hi, kids, and welcome to Creature Feature. And I want to welcome you to our very first show right here in our brand new spanking lab here in Council Bluffs, Iowa. And our show is shot deep beneath the Mall of the Bluffs. Bluffs, Bluffs, Bluffs. Moms and dads should stop by on Saturdays with the kids to check out the Nebraska-Iowa Railroaders, who have a neat display of model railroads to look at. I love trains. Hoo, hoo, all aboard. We're coming into the station! Woo! Woo! <laughs> ding, 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 Who are you idiots and what are you doing in my lab? Oh my good sir, I'm Bartholomew Bunsen and this is Mr. Burner. I'm terribly sorry, but this is not your lab anymore. No, no, no indeed. Yes. This lab belongs to a royal majesty. The, the Queen, Queen of England. England. God, God save, save the Queen. Queen. Oh. oh, Doc, I think these guys are from England. Oh, quite right. Yes, this laboratory is under the jurisdiction of the crown. How can that be? We're in Council Bluffs, Iowa, and this territory was legally purchased from the French by the United States of America government from the, the French during the Louisiana Purchase. That's right, and the French, they just kinda came right in here and stole it from the, the Native Americans, so I, I guess that whole Louisiana Purchase thing is completely null and void. Sorry, mate, but there's a tiny loophole. The English Crown purchased a teensy land area of just under 43 acres from the French to mine the natural baked bean deposits underneath this very shopping mall. That's right, George III truly did love his beanies. Oh yes, but you know, he probably forgot about the property as soon as the war with Napoleon broke out. Huh. Uh, but just the other day, we were building a new parking lot over an old church, uh -huh. and we found the remains of King Arthur. And he was holding this map, which led us directly to this location. Yes. Oh, oh, do you mean the, like, the, the, the King Arthur from the storybooks, you know, who had the Knights of the Round Table and, and Camelot? No, you silly green twit! Of course, we meant Pliny the Elder. Yes. But we didn't want to add to your confusion. In the spring a ding ding So that means this entire lab is run by the United Kingdom. Hmm. Totally good fun. I finally have something in common with Sporty Spice. Ah, yes, indeed. You and your crumpet bird are now subjects of the royal crown, and as such, are responsible for our notoriously high tax rate. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, yes. Do you know how much it takes to clean up after the queen's tiny little corgi dogs? Those little bastards just lift tail wherever they want. Oh, yes, they do. Uh, well, I, I, I guess that's okay as long as we're allowed to do our silly little TV show here, and, and I, I suppose we can live without our American rights, especially the one to vote. <laughs> yes, well, you know, about your little show here, I'm afraid that we are going to have to commandeer the writing uh, and, and reconfigure it, uh, make it more sophisticated and suitable for a United Kingdom audience. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, what do you mean by that? Well... British humor is very, very complex and covers very many levels and touches on many subjects that you Americans would find taboo. Well, I'll tell you what, In kids. In the spring a ding a ding ding. Uh, well, why don't we cut for a commercial break? All the little daisies break. sing a sing a sing sing. And uh, uh, when we, we come back, uh, we can... Glorious sunshine, 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 sunshine in London, London town. town. Maybe, maybe we can see the movie and stuff. I like jaunty sailor fun. Would you like to touch me in me bump? Thank mm -hmm. you.
Hey, do I really have to do this? Of course you do, you silly goose. You're English now. Yeah, lovely. Uh, eh, eh, uh, uh. Well, Jolly-o, kiddios, and welcome to Creature Feature here on the tally on, on, uh, I guess BBC two or three or four or five or six. I, I'm not not quite sure which. As you may have heard, the the creature feature shows become property of the English Crown, and well, I guess comes this little chunk of Council Bluffs is now owned by the the Queen of England, who is gonna mine deep underneath our mall here to get a natural flowing river of bait. Beans. Why are the English so obsessed with baked beans? Oh, baked beans, I love them. Oh, yes, I do. You know, I, I have no idea, but I think we're going to find out very soon because Mr. Bunsen and Mr. Bunn are catering in a traditional English lunch. So why don't you go and get it for us or something? Okay, but I do need to use the bathroom. What do the English call bathroom? Uh, I think they call it a loo. Hmm, okay, well then, I'm just going to skip to the loo. Ooh! Ah, hello, Doctor! We're your new lovely, charming English female companions for your charming little program of yours. Oh, yes, I'm Betsy Bartholomew, and this is my beautiful associate, Beatrice Burner. Charmed to meet you, Doctor. I didn't catch your name. Oh, well, my name is Dr. Sanguinary. Dr. Who? D D Dr. Sanguinary. Dr. Who? D Dr. S-A-N. Exfoliate! Exfoliate! Oh, Doctor! Look, it's an evil skincare product from outer space! And we are just weak. Fragile ladies who need to be protected. But, <laughs> Whatever shall you do to save two delicate ladies of the feminine yes, persuasion? Doctor, tell us, tell us, tell us, please. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm all cobby wobbles, and I don't want to drop a clanger. Oh, well, here, Doctor. Save the galaxy. Use your screwdriver. Screwdriver? Yes. Kitty. You mangy mugger, you're mad as a bag of ferrets. I'm gonna get this green guinea kepper here and air bashing after the show. I'll tell you what. That was bloody rude. Hey, hey, Nurse Presley, what time is it? Well, Doc, it's time for an amazing Elvis Presley fact. When Elvis Presley met President Nixon in December of 1970, he read aloud a six-page letter to the president in which he revealed his desire to be made a federal agent at large in the Bureau of Narcotics and Dangerous Drugs. Presley accused the Beatles of being un-American for their open drug use and anti-Vietnam politics. Ooh! How dare you say anything horrible about the Beatles? They're loved by millions all over the world! Hey, hey, then how come they call the, uh, the Rolling Stones the... Uh... The world's greatest rock band. Um, 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 you know, hmm. I've always wondered that myself. Uh, you know, yeah. well, uh, enough of this drivel. Ah, uh, 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 speaking proper English. Uh. The Queen's English. Oh, oh, yo, enough of this poppycock. <laughs> oh, let's see ya. There, look at the hands on the bin. It's tea time. Yes, and a right proper one, too. Here, Dr. Sanguinary, I've prepared a traditional English snacky whack for you. Oh, since you're English now, you'll be eating this all the time. Oh, uh, so, uh, blimey, uh, 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 what is this crack? Am I, am I reading the London Times or, or eating it? Oh, you cheeky monkey, look inside. Uh, look. Ah, look, Ew. what is this? Uh. Ew, what the hell is that? Oh, in England, we call it a spot of Smeagol and Samwise. Hey, how about a translation in English? Dumb American English. Hmm, nummy num noms. It's traditional fish and chips. Well, tasty fishes. My precious Gollum. Gollum. Oh, uh, yes. Tiny little fishes from the sea. Uh, uh, Tiny little fishes uh, from the sea. Uh, Tiny little fishes from uh, the sea. Uh, uh, oh, open your mouth. Here he comes. Uh, 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 Mmm! Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy! 
<laughs> Never forget Trafalgar and Admiral Nelson. The glory of the English Navy shall never be forgotten. Avast, a saucy witch. Ooh, a saucy witch. Ah! Ooh. <laughs> and welcome back to Creature Feature. It's, it's hard to talk like this. Uh, oh, well, we're here on the telly and uh, we'll, we're part of the English Empire, you say, and, and we're here in our jolly old lab in what used to be Council Bluffs, Iowa. Bluffs, Bluffs, Bluffs. Oh, I, I forgot to tell you, uh, Dr. Sanguinary, uh, um, uh, this is no longer Council Bluffs. Oh, really? Yes, uh, the Queen has seen fit to rename it New Upper Heathrow Dingleberry. Bluffs. Um, I mean, Dingleberry, Dingleberry, Dingleberry. Now, Doctor, hurry up and eat your fishy fish, because the Queen should be arriving for her visit any moment now. Yes. Uh, why, why would the Queen visit us all the way here in Dingleberry? Probably so her little corgi dogs can take a big old crapper on me carpeting. <laughs> Oh, look, look, everyone, all rise for Her Majesty the Queen of England. Move it, Tubby. Where are Your Majesty? My royal subjects, it is my pleasure to welcome the newest members of the British Empire and to tax you heavily. But, but, I, I don't want to be heavily taxed. I, I, I want to free myself from your reign of tyranny and, and start my own country right here in... What used to be Council Bluffs. Uh, None uh, of that nonsense. We have seen in the last 200 years that your choices are now between Clinton and a Trump. Disgusting. We are not amused. Epic fail! Your Majesty, Your Majesty, we appear to have a bit of a renegade here. This Dr. Sanguinary, or is it Herr Doctor? Ach! Refuses to eat his golem and ganji. That cannot be tolerated. Off with his head. No, 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 off with the head. See, I, I love, I love fishy fish. See, mm, mm, I love fishy fish. All right, all right. Hands up, you limey scoundrels. My name would be Seamus Finnegan. 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 O'Toole. And I'm the leader of the Iowa Irish Republic Army Whiskey Rebellion. And what a fine rebellion it'd be at that, lass. Oh, and it seems that I've caught the naughty, naughty Elizabeth. Well, we'll remedy this situation, rightly so. Okay, so I now claim this land for Ireland. <gasps> uh, congratulations, Dr. McSanguinary Mac. and Nurse McPresley. Mac. Does this mean we're free? And, and that I don't have to eat the stinking fishy fish? Oh, no, we won't be putting that kind of rubbish in our gullets. No, no, we'll have a fine traditional seven-course Irish meal. Let me go get it real quick. Seven-course <laughs> Irish meal. Here we go there, lad. Huh, boy, I wonder, wonder what this is. <laughs> Six packing potatoes. Ah. Uh, oh, look, and there's six spears in there. There's one for each of us. Oh, jolly good. <laughs> but who gets the potato? Well, Dr. McSanguinary, it looks like you've got your wish. But there's one thing you need to know about being Irish. Uh, what would that be? St. Patrick never made it to Iowa. Stay! <laughs> R-X-2-3-4-7-9-6-B Hey there, buckaroos. Doc Sanguinary here with a new pal of mine, Tony Barnes, from the Victory Riding Academy. I invited Tony to come into the lab and talk to you boys and girls today about something pretty special that they do over there. Tony, why don't you take it away? Well, Victory Ryan Academy is a nonprofit organization. We serve military, police, fire, first responders, and their families. 
We do therapeutic writing sessions and we also do uh, some sessions just to be able to integrate the families back together when they have a deployment um, in the military and when they come back so that they can become a family again. Well, that's, that sounds like a really wonderful thing to do. Um, of course, you know, animal therapy, folks have been using it for years, you know, with dogs and smaller animals, so horses, why not, right? That's right. And uh, now, where are you guys located? We're located in 48th and Harrison down in South Omaha. All righty. And if uh, folks obviously want to find out more about you, they can visit the website here at the bottom of the screen. And uh, obviously, we're encouraging them to make some donations, you know, to, to keep these wonderful works rolling. Now, uh, if folks wanted to come and visit uh, your, your operation there, uh, what kind of things do you have throughout the year that the general public can stop by and visit with? Yeah, we do a lot of different events for the community uh, during the year, but we also do some off, off the property as well. We have uh, one called Operation Free Ride we do for the military. We average about five to 600 people. Uh, it's free games, food and entertainment, free horse rides. And then uh, we do a lot of events on our property. We bring the community in, introduce them to horses, give them an opportunity to ride, enjoy themselves, and have a good day. Well, that sounds like a, a fun thing that you folks can grab your kids and, and go out and check out. And, you know, once again, it's an opportunity for you to see the wonderful work that they do, help out our first responders and our military veteran friends who are coming back and need to get a little bit readjusted to society in a, in a wonderful way with our uh, Equian pals there. And uh, so, anywho, they can visit you on Facebook, correct? That is correct. And we Greg should have me. All righty. And then, of course, website at the bottom of the screen. So I want to thank you, Tony, for stopping by the lab and telling everybody about the wonderful things that you do for the community here. Thank you. Well, kids, that's all the time we've got for you tonight here in the Creature Feature Lab. So here's Doc Sanguinary and the Creature Feature cast and crew wishing you a, a cheerio and, and a Fruit Loops and a Lucky Charms and, and may you have a nightmare with the monster of your choice. See you again next week. Bye-bye now. Bye! Toodaloo.